All right, today our journey starts in our Google Analytics account where we want to configure an event as a goal within Google Analytics. So let's go first into our event reports under behavior and events and see what events we actually have available in our account to build a goal upon. So these are the events. They all have a category, if you click on it, an action and a label. And this is the way we send the data in that it normally has these attributes attached to an event. So in our Google Tag Manager account here for our YouTube event, for example, we send in the category video, then the action would be the play or the different starts or stops, and the label would be the actual video title. So now that we know how our event is built up, we can start to build our goal. We go over to the admin section. Under the view settings here, we have our goals that we can click on. And here we have all our goals that we have configured. We click on new goal and we can choose a template if you want so, but I'll usually go with the custom option. We continue and give our goal a name. Now I would describe your goal as an action that your user can take so it gets clear later in the interface. So for example, video play. Then we can choose a slot. Now normally Google Analytics has 20 slots available and it will automatically choose the slot that is nearest and available. That should be fine. And then we'll, as a type, choose our event. We continue. And now we need to fill out our category, action, label, and value. Now this is a bit misleading because this is all red. You actually only need to fill out one of these slots in order for your goal to be identified, for one of your events to be identified as a goal conversion. So in our case, we have, for example, as the category, we are sending in a simple word, the video. So we could say, this is a video. All of the events that carry the category video will be now also marked as a goal conversion within the interface of Google Analytics. Now, obviously we can go a little bit more specific. So if we have here our event, let's test this out really quickly on our page. We see here a Google GTM video fires. And once we whoops, click on this event and see inside, we see the category video and the action start. But we also see a second event here that fires. This is also the category video and the action pause because I actually paused this video. So with the configurations that we have in Google Analytics like right now, both actions would be counted as a conversion. Now, if I only wanted to really count the video plays, so the start of the video, I can enter optionally another action here, which in our case would be start. So let's do this. Just put in start here. And we could narrow down even further, for example, the label or the value that we are sending in, but that won't be necessary for this event. Now there's another option asking if we wanted to use the goal value for the conversion. And if we untick this option, we can put in a default, unfortunately we can't put in zero. We need to put in a number greater than zero, which I find typically is not a good option unless your event specifically is attached to a monetary value and you know that value in advance. Now, in my case, I don't actually send in any value into Google Analytics via this event. So I will go with the yes option. So it should just use the value from the event itself. That's fine because it won't actually send anything and it won't be transferred into the interface. I would be careful with this option. If you use it, try to actually use the e-commerce tracking instead in order to make this work because then you have one single place where you can look for real monetary value rather than your events. After that, we can verify this goal. So when we verify this, it will show us how many percent conversion rate it would expect from the last seven days. Now, if I, for example, do this away and re-verify, we see a greater conversion rate. So this is the first mechanism where you can see and test whether you have configured everything correctly. Then you can go to save and your goal is now configured. Now what I would do is actually go over to the real time reporting and under conversions, you can go ahead and trigger your event again and then see whether it shows up in your real time reporting as well. So we have here a goal hit and that should be our video plays. So here we have our video play and it just 
sent over our page. And since we are here in the goal section, it seems to be working just fine. And now our goals are correctly configured and we should see them in our interface in several places. So for example, if you go to the acquisition report here under source medium, we should be able to choose our conversions right here as the video play. Now, unfortunately, this is not retroactive. So it takes some time to fill up with data only from the moment on forward where you put in this goal, it will actually be classified as a goal conversion and henceforth record data. So this is how you can configure an event as a goal in Google Analytics. All right, so did you like this video? Then don't hesitate, give us a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, then you can go over to the next video over there or subscribe to our channel right over there because we will bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next one.